Let's take a look at everything you need to put together your first lighting kit, all for under a thousand pound. This kit is going to include key, fill and hair lights, modifiers, diffusion, as well as other basic grip equipment. Let's jump into it. The first thing we're going to take a look at is probably going to be the most expensive, and that's the key light. I'd recommend investing in a decent key light first, and then you can work everything else around that going forward. It doesn't need to be a big expensive Ari Sky panel, or even an Aperture 120D. It just needs to be bright enough to get the job done. As I mentioned at the start, everything in this kit added together is going to be less than a thousand pound. With that in mind, I decided to go with the recently released Amaran 100D as my key light. I chose this because at that price point, not much else comes close in terms of power and quality. Its brightness can even compete with the Aperture 120D, which is almost four times as expensive. While the overall build quality may not be as strong as its higher end counterpart, it's still a solid purchase. At this point in time, I'd recommend the Amaran 100D over previous low budget favorites, such as the Godox SL60 and 100. Moving on to our fill light. I'm calling it a fill light in this example, but you can use it for anything really. For this, I went with the GVM 800D panel. It can be bought in a two light kit for around 200 pound if you catch it on sale, which it often is. If you're trying to save even more money, you could just buy one of these kits and use one as a key and one as a fill. While they may not be the brightest light panels, they are bi-colored and have a HSI mode as well. So you can dial in whatever look you need. Panels like this are great because not only are they affordable, they're also lightweight and they're ideal for working in locations where you may not have as much room to work with bigger lights. The last light we're gonna take a look at is the small but wonderful Aperture MC. You may have seen me use this light before in my videos as I'm a big fan. This is the perfect light to act as a small fill or hair light and it's great for working in tight spaces. There are other small LED panels that come in at a similar price point or cheaper than the Aperture MC, but personally, I'd recommend it's worth paying that little bit extra. It's surprisingly bright for such a small panel and it has HSI and CCT modes, so you can dial in pretty much any look you need. It works great with the Aperture Sidus Link app as well. With lights, you will of course need light stands. Proper heavy duty C stands can get quite expensive, especially when you're buying more than one. This will put this kit over budget quite quickly, and so I'm going to go for some cheaper, more affordable, regular light stands that can still hold a fair bit of weight. You can often find two packs, like this newer one. Eventually, you'll need at least four to six stands for all your lights and everything else, so you can see how this can add up. Just make sure when you're choosing cheaper light stands, that they're made of solid material and can hold a decent amount of weight without falling over. To go with light stands, you'll need sandbags to make sure they're nice and supported. These are pretty self-explanatory and can be bought quite cheaply. Let's move on to diffusion. I wanted to have a few options in this kit and my first choice was a large softbox. Softboxes are great and can be used for a variety of things and as a pricing guide, I went with this 36 inch newer model. As with everything in this list, there are other models at a similar price point. This is just a guide. It's always good to do your own research and find the right model that works for you. A large softbox like this will turn the Amaran 100D into a nice, soft, directional light source as it comes with a couple of layers of diffusion inside as well as a honeycomb grid. For additional diffusion, I went with a cheap piece of unbleached muslin. You can get loads of this for a very cheap price. It's slightly warmer than if you were diffusing through a standard silk, but I quite like it. I also chose for this kit a large 5-in-1 reflector. These are great because not only are they affordable and come in different sizes, as the name suggests they can be used for different things, including acting as a bounce, fill, diffusion and negative fill. I only included one in this kit, but it's handy to have a couple lying around in different sizes. Probably the cheapest thing you can add to your lighting kit, aside from unbleached muslin, is a shower curtain and a black tablecloth. A shower curtain is a great affordable option to act as diffusion and a black tablecloth is perfect to act as a large negative fill. You could also use it to block out window light or other light sources if needed. To support all of this diffusion gear, you'll need a few things which you can add to your extra light stands. Some duck bill clips. These are great for holding five in one reflectors or anything else really. You could also get a reflector arm, which comes with two clips. And last but not least, some C47s or clothes pegs basically. These are perfect for hanging materials or clipping gels. Speaking of gels, we should just have enough budget left to add some to the kit. Gels are great for modifying daylight balanced lights. There are a few cheap sets available that are just basic party colours, but you can also find some proper cheap CTB or CTO gels out there if you look in the right place. These are often not as expensive as the Roscoe gels and do a decent enough job. I haven't done any tests to see what the actual differences are, but I assume the Roscoe gels are more colour accurate. I'm going to include this last item as an extra, as it may take our kit over budget, but you kind of need somewhere to put it all. Something like this newer equipment bag is a great affordable option if you're on a budget and it has plenty of room. I made the mistake of investing more in cameras and lenses when I first got started. If I was to give any advice to my younger self, 
would be to invest more in decent lighting equipment instead. If you're just getting started, or even if you've been doing this for some time, don't be put off by this list thinking you need all of it to start making videos. Start shooting right away, no matter what equipment you have. This list is just meant to be a guide to some of the basic equipment you may want to add to your own lighting kit over time. You definitely don't need it all at once. I'll also say that the brands and specific equipment mentioned in this video aren't important. They're just to give you an idea of what you can buy at that price point. The prices are also obviously UK figures, so will differ depending on your location. I hope you found this video useful. If you want to see more on cinematography and filmmaking in general, you can subscribe here. You can also watch more here as well if you want to. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.